Yeah, keep it quite low, the clutch, keep it low. Whoa, 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 whoa. What does that look like? Too close. Too close. Your clutch is low, but your steering is too slow. I'm going to have to just take control here, okay? Too close, okay? Accelerator on. Ooh, clutch out. Clutch out. <laughs> Try again, nice and steady. <laughs> carry on, carry on. On the manual, there's a different driver on the road. Just stay away from him and brake, 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 brake. Hi guys, welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Amon and today it's Erin's <laughs> second driving lesson. No, we've done, well, we've done 10 hours and then we kind of started back to basics again. So last lesson we started off with our left and right turns around this area where we're focusing on making sure that your turns are nice and neat. Yeah. We had a little bit of trouble with the, was it the left turns, yeah. right? Okay. But we discovered what the issue was and it was actually the fact that um, as you're getting to the corners, like the T-junctions, she was straightening up the wheel and then that was resulting in the car going out and then turning, which is why the turns were so wide. So we're going to focus on that today. But the main objective today is actually to get back onto the main roads. Now we have tried those previously. And I know you find them a little bit over <laughs> <laughs> you find them a little bit overwhelming. So what we'll do is we'll start off around here, see how that goes, if there's anything we need to catch up on. Then we'll make our way onto the main roads. But when we get on the main roads, should we do it as a like an ongoing talk through? Yeah. And then we'll cut down. Or do you wanna just try it? Do you want to do talk through? Or talk? talk through. Talk okay. Through. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. That's fine. All right. So for anyone that's new to the channel, don't forget to like the video, comment down below and subscribe if you've not already. I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that subscribed because I'm over 50,000 subscribers now, which is absolutely amazing. So thank you. Yeah. Ready to start when you are. So show me how you'd start off. And you're in charge of moving off on your own. Nice move off. Just with that blind spot check, it's kind of the check and move. So there's no no delay, absolutely, between the two. All right, do you want to give this left turn a go on your own? Let's do a left at the end. So starting with your routine. Don't go towards the blue car. Good. Very careful. Be very careful. Well done. Really nice clutch control there. Well done. He's parked in such a bad spot. He's on double yellow lines. It's a good thing we're not going into that road because that would mean <laughs> we're having to completely drive on the wrong side there. But thankfully the man would definitely help in that situation. Now let's turn left please, the mirrors. And then, good. Very nice, no concerns. Let's turn left. Not bad. Could have started turning a little bit earlier. Yeah. Did the parked car scare you off a little yes. bit? Yes. Okay, so what do we do when you see parked cars on the entrance? Stop. Break some more. Maybe use a lower gear. Yeah? We can always go back to first, can't we? Yeah. Alright, let's keep moving. Let's go right at the end. Back there, what if there was a car? Coming towards back you. Coming. We'll break and clutch. And then you'd stop and then they could get out and then we get in. Now stay in the middle for a little bit longer. Now with your feet, prepare. Good. And as soon as you get here, what's the next? There you go. <laughs> All right, looking and get your clutch ready. Now don't rush, keep it quite low. Yeah, keep it quite low, the clutch, keep it low. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What does that look like? Too close. Too close. Your clutch was low, but your steering was too slow. I'm gonna have to just take control here, okay? Don't press anything for now. Yeah, we definitely would have hit that car. <laughs> All right, back to you. Grab the steering wheel and just turn the wheel the other way, quicker. 
and back to you. We're going to do another right turn. So you see that grey car in front? Because they're parked in front of you, your steering has to be earlier. Isn't it? That's what happened there. So let's go right. So, so stop as normal. Brilliant. And now looking side to side, does it appear to be clear? Yes. Okay. As soon as you're coming out of this line, Erin, what are you doing with your steering wheel? Steering it. Steering. You're going to start turning. So let's go out a little bit. Keep looking up and down the road, glancing back and forth, and now start turning the wheel. Don't look at the car. Look where you want to go. Keep looking side to side. Look again, left and right. Now, isn't that turn so much better? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, let's speed up really quickly. Brilliant. Should we come up to that turn with the black car again? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to keep it to the left, but stop. Right there. Brilliant. Good. And then? Good. What else do you do? There we go. Now feet ready. There's some more. Everyone's coming in. And then prepare your feet. So this time, we're mainly giving priority to the right. So if your right's clear, we can go. So look left, but we don't stop for them. Erin, just look left and then keep moving. Good. And then start your turn quicker. That's better. You've got to watch out the branches and things like that as well. Brilliant. Go for the gear change and then we're going to make a right turn in there. So turn right, please. Now I know there's parked cars, but don't turn early. Just keep the car straight. Look where you're going, brake and turn. Not yet, don't turn too much, that's it. Hold it there. Now if there was a car, as you're turning and you see them, simply brake and clutch, in that order. Let's do a right turn here. Good. And then think about your position. Come back to the left, come back to the left. Okay, we'll talk about this in a minute. You ready? Okay. Do you want to Think about what we're doing here. So I want you to make sure you're looking back and forth and think about when you need to steer. Get your right foot over, good. Lower clutch, look the other way and start steering. Start steering. Good, because we can't go out because that's what got us in trouble in the first place. Now if you can pull it and park up on the left just after these two cars before the end of the road. Okay, so how was that turn with the black car now? better than the first time yeah but you notice what happened yeah. the first time right yeah you've simply just got out rather than turning because that car is now blocking where you could be similar to the branches from that tree same thing yeah i think we can change it up now so we're gonna make our way onto the main roads all right let's talk about um the differences between the side roads and main roads first so on these type of roads you don't have zebra crossings traffic lights we mainly have junctions like this. We have parked cars. We have bends and things like that. But there's not much going on besides the junctions, right? Yeah. When we get to the main roads, you're gonna have a lot more space around you. We're gonna be able to drive up to the speed of the road a lot more, but there's gonna be a lot more going on. There's gonna be more hazards. So there's gonna be lots of pedestrian crossings, lots of pedestrians, lots of traffic lights. And we've gotta make sure we keep up with the flow of traffic. And then on top of that, you're going to have like a double-decker bus coming towards you and a lorry in the distance and a parked van. So these are all the hazards that we have to now be wary of. So we're going to do it as an ongoing talk through. So what I'll do is when we get onto the main roads, for the first five minutes, I will point out the hazards to you. So I'll say, okay, well, we got that, 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 da, da. kind of highlighting everything. Then I'm going to get you to highlight everything. And there's, there's no wrong answer. So don't worry, oh my god, I don't want to say this, <laughs> I feel shy, it doesn't matter. Even if you think it's the person standing on the side of the road, it's still a potential hazard, okay? But you've got to keep scanning everything, because you might think, oh, there's only two things, but there might be like five or six things going on, even if only one of them actually develops, or none of them develop. It's like the hazard perception. Yeah. <laughs> they keep you alert, because you have to keep thinking about, wait, which one is the main hazard? Yeah. So it's like that, but now we have to actually drive through these roads. Um, I'm happy with the clutch control side of things. We're just going to make sure the steering on the tighter turns. Should we go? Yeah. Alrighty, when you're ready. So when you're ready, let's drive off and do a right turn at the end. And you will do this right turn independently.
you keep looking back and forth and slow with your feet. That's what I'm talking about with your observation. Well done with that. That was good. All right, so we've got the caravan on the right is sticking out. Do you see it? Yeah. So you can see his tire is completely over the line. Yeah. And then we've got the large van on the left who's close to the white line, but everyone is generally out of the way. All right, so we've got the obstruction right in front, the van that's just parked. Then we've got the JCB, we've got the man. So these are all your, all your sort of potential faults right now. Oh, wait, and we've also got a roundabout. Is it clear? Yeah. Glance, not stare. Mm. <laughs> you can look back and forth as many times as you like. That car had its lights on, so there you go. Someone's getting out. Now we're going to go which way from here? No. Yes. Now we're going to glance back and forth. Is it clear? Yeah. Look at that steering control. Very nice. We're going to turn where the Mini is. So what do we do? Good. So follow the bend first. So follow it round to the right a bit more. Then look into the road and turn a bit more. There we go. That's more like it. How are you doing? Okay. <laughs> All right. What's your potential hazards right now? So maybe the fact that there's loads of parked cars quite close together yeah. so we can't see the pavement That's the van definitely because it's much larger could hide um, pedestrians a lot more than the parked cars we're gonna make a left turn at the end there you taking the top mirror first yeah. okay good what's the next step once you've stopped thank you now you're gonna look back and forth we're gonna make sure when we come out of here, we start turning, but it's a bit of a difficult one to see with that large tree blocking your view. The two trees, actually. How many cars? Sure. All right, feet ready. Nice and steady, don't rush out, hold it. Now turn it all the way, go and steer quicker. Steer quicker. We've got to steer quicker at that point. Go on, turn it the other way. You weren't gonna hit the pavement if that's what you were thinking of. Good. All right, so I'm mentioning the hazards feel. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm going to mention the hazards. So we've got this large grey car hiding this crossing, but it's not a zebra, so we don't have to give away. All right, the van behind us is a little bit close. Then we've got this large grey van on the left again on a bend. We've got the old lady walking on the right. We have a 20 sign. We have a large white van. We can't see the bend. There's a van towards you. All okay so far come into the left a bit and then continue. So we've got a zebra crossing. Are there any pedestrians? No. Nope. Anyone behind? Yeah. Okay. He has to wait. He's on a side road. <laughs> I know it's scary seeing him. You see that lorry? Yeah. Brake and clutch. Now please. Now brake. Quickly. A bit more pressure on that brake next time. Okay. Feet ready. After this next one we're going to go. So you're going to check that right side mirror. Move your right foot over. Get your left foot up and check that right side mirror and take your time with it. You see, large vehicles will always give yeah. you trouble. So when you see them, what do you do? Brake. Brake. Brake first. Make sure you actually slow down and then clutch. We, we're always regularly checking what's behind. So we've got that large vehicle parked up on the left van, sorry. And check what's behind you. Good. It's regular checks in the top. Oh, there you go. We've got an uphill climb. Now, can we go behind the blue van? No. Good. Because of the? So what are you doing with your feet? Brake and? Bit stop there, stop there. You're getting a bit close to the left. Check your left mirror. How close are we to the edge? Very close. Hop it in first gear. Feet ready. Slowly move forward, but don't move left. And move to the right as you're going now. Accelerate. And we're going to keep going. Accelerate. A bit more. A bit more. Good. Looking at what's happening down there. So we've got a traffic light. Now we're going to go in the lane that goes ahead. Now don't move to the left, move to the right slightly. Remember Erin, you're not sitting in the middle of your car. So the middle of your lane has to be where? On your left, no, left arm. Sure <laughs> so you need to be sitting on the right and I need to be sitting on the left. That's why we got a bit close to the pavement near the yeah. um, zebra. How are you finding it so far? Right. Is it easier than what we've done previously? Yeah. Okay, good. 
All right, do you want to start mentioning some hazards you see as well? And then I'll, I'll keep helping you as well, if you miss any. That man opening the van. Oh yeah, definitely. Any time you're off the brake, it's going to roll. There we go. Now just use your mirrors and keep it in a straight line. So watching the van with the door open. Now those buses are a hazard, but right now we're okay because there's no parked cars anyways. What's that noise? Aha! Alright, let's get behind. I want you to be behind the driver of that blue car. So checking behind. Good. Position behind the driver. Very nice. Anything else? First gear? No. Oh. Ah, brake clutch, first gear. Because there's nothing else going on, right? Yeah. A bit more space in front, don't get too close, okay? Accelerator on. Ooh, clutch down, clutch down. <laughs> Try again, nice and steady. A bit more space in front, don't get too close, okay? Accelerator on. Ooh, clutch down. <laughs> Try again, nice and steady. <laughs> carry on, carry on. Why did it stall? Up too quickly. Yes, up too quickly. All right, now keep going. Center of your lane on your left shoulder. Now that van's waiting. He's probably going to turn. With your feet, brake. Good. All right, now that you've stopped. That was really stressful. <laughs> Now that you've stopped, what's the next oh, step? Oh yeah. Ah. Oh wait. Oh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> oh my god, I'm the crazy one right now, not you. Okay, so you know why it switched off? Yeah. Yes. We've had that happen previously. <laughs> Just not the last lesson. I think the last lesson was uh, pretty smooth. I hope that black car won't block the junction because there's not much space for them, is there? Look. That blue car really shouldn't go forward right now. Why is that? It's a block there. Yeah, it's, it's going to block the uh, middle of the junction. In fact, they really shouldn't be there either. Where should they have waited? Behind the line. Yes. Now, when the traffic lights go green for you, be wary that he may not wait around. So, feet ready? Yeah, let's go. Nice and steady. And just keep going. Just keep an eye on him, but he's not moving. And then keep going. A bit to the right if you can. Good. Good, and then checking behind. Oh, why did it jolt? Are you looking here to look behind, right? Yeah. Okay, thought so. Yeah, too quick. down the road and side to side. See the lady on the left? This one on the left here. And then the right. Okay. You see the lorry parked up? Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. So he's an obstruction because he's not moving. Good. Do what the red car's doing with your position, but check the zebra crossing. Is that man there? What about that couple there? What about that couple there? Next time, yeah? yeah? Position early like the red car, because it's so much going on. That silver car should wait. Are they waiting? No. Okay, break a little, and then continue. Just check what's behind, and then check to the left. They really should have waited, <laughs> but at least we saw them, right? <laughs> All right, so we can't miss people on pedestrian leopard crossings like that, okay? They were slow, so it, it was yeah. safe to continue. We were Alright, so they're waiting. Are they going to keep waiting? Yeah. They should, yes. Good. What else do you see in the distance? So kind of go up and down the road and side to side. Mm -hmm. Any pedestrians? You're a bit close to this branch. Little things like that we've got to watch out for. <laughs> Branch. <laughs> Branches. The trees are just completely overgrown. That Yodel van, that's quite a large van, isn't it? Yeah. So I think we should move over early and maybe just check the right side. Watch out in case the driver is in the road. Good position from the van. Oh, there's a different driver on the road. 
to stay away from him and break, 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 break. Why do people do that? <sighs> and then off you go. As soon as people get out of their cars, they don't realise hazards and they don't realise how annoying they are as a pedestrian. <laughs> do you do that? No. Relax, we couldn't stop there, we just got too late, okay? Looking behind, so the van is approaching, the green one. There's a bit of a hazard because we're not right near the van on the left, so break a little man, but he's yeah. seen you. Yep, just about. At least he was looking. How are you feeling about this road today? Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being absolutely brilliant. Um, 7. 7, okay that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. There is a lot to take in here. Good, just hold your position. I know there's large vehicles, just go a little slower, but don't move left. Good, and just a little quick look behind again. So the vehicle behind is a little close, aren't they? Mm -hmm, that's all right. Just means that we're going to have to brake early for things, aren't we? So like that blue car that's turning around, start braking early, but don't move left. Good. He's parking, by the way. Just check the right side and then do what that car in front's doing. We're going to go ahead and now when we get to the traffic lights, we're going to turn left. Really nicely done. So the lights may go red. There you go. Don't move left too much, you're going to hit the edge. Yeah. Good. Alright, if you check your left side, can you see how it curves? Yeah. Do you see why you would have hit that? You ready? Brilliant. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, it, it will become more instinctive the more you're driving, so don't worry. So how often are we checking this top mirror? In seconds? Is that better? Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking you are going like this. <laughs> About eight to ten seconds. Yeah. Now prepare your feet, don't rush, and just check the left side. All right, hazards, tell me what you see. Motorbike. Mm -hmm. What else? Truck. Yeah, bring lorry. What else we got? Car. Yes, keep looking further, keep scanning, because there's a lot more going on here. What do we see in front? Pedestrian, zebra crossing. Yeah, zebra crossing, good. We've got that van with the light on. We've got that yeah. car on the right with the light on. So these are active vehicles. They might move. Then we've got that car sticking out. Then we've got that DPD van. <sighs> Everything is happening. Really well done there. See, because you've taken it all in, you're already driving in consideration to everything. Good. dry cleaning <laughs> and then the wing mirror opens into the road great what about that lady is she walking to the uh, zebra yeah oh very nice That's it. really nicely done that just check your mirrors and then you can go well done for looking on the right side of that crossing there as well that played out very nicely there <laughs> it was just like a click click Click. Watch what that car's doing. So silly. Like you're not even slow. <laughs> Alright, tell me what you see. We've got lots of pedestrians. That runner's quite close to the edge, isn't he? What do we have in front? What is that? Roundabout. <laughs> yes, okay, oh. roundabout. We're following the van. You can signal right if you like. It's, it's not necessary. You can, yeah because it's kind of like the main main exit yeah. this lady's close to the crossing well. <laughs> not quite but heading in that direction yeah. all right hazards tell me what you see again we're gonna have a little break in like five minutes for nearly where we need to be so keep scanning ahead bus. yes bus what's that bus doing 
Brake. Oh. Brake. That bus is trying to move off. Pop it into gear. Feet ready. Don't rush. Take your time with it. So when a bus driver changes their signal, we don't want to be overtaking okay. them. Okay? Now we're going to take a, a right turn in there. So just check your mirrors. Good. And then signal. Braking clutch and stay in the middle. Braking clutch here. Quickly. Stop there. Good. And then get ready. Brilliant. Anybody else crossing? No. Feet ready. Steady. And there we are. Well done. Now looking ahead and continue. So as soon as you saw that bus driver had changed their signal, we're preparing to give way, okay? Just don't get so close to that silver car. Did you see it was yeah. we kind of coming up to it? Oh. All right, we're back to some small roads again. So if the parked cars are in your path, then they have priority. Now the parked cars are in their path, we have priority. Okay? Uh, so that okay. black car should wait for you. Is he waiting? Brake and clutch, quickly, quickly. Pop it into gear one. Slowly go again. He should have waited. But it's a Prius, so <laughs> we kind of just expect them not to wait. But yeah, that's how priorities are decided. Good, just to keep it to the right. Now we're on the main road on this crossroads, okay? You can see the giveaway lines over there and there. <laughs> Gotta keep noticing the hazards. We can see the Tesco vans parked, which means the driver's yeah. around. <gasps> now if you can park up on the left, just behind this black car, check and signal, brake. Go on, mirror signal. Think about your brake. Good, keep braking a lot more. A bit to the right if you can, to the right, to the right. Good, to the right a bit more. That's the edge you could feel a little bit. Now straighten the wheel, that's great there. And then, good, what else? Good, what should be your, what, what should you be, what should be the order when you stop? that first yes and then handbrake first <laughs> and then you make sure you as long as you do all of it it doesn't matter but handbrake is the most important the parking brake how are you doing okay <laughs> any concerns about that last road kind of driving past south Ealing station we had the man with his laundry we had the <laughs> crossing then we had the car overtake yeah. us then we had the roundabout then we had the bus in terms of a bus on a bus stop, obviously there's a chance that that bus will move off. It, with, that to, with that scenario, because the bus was on the side of the road, had you already been committed, then you were just going to carry on. But if you have time to deal with it, you deal with it safely by giving way. Okay? Yeah. And obviously the bus driver does have to make sure the road is clear and some are safe as well. They can't just kind of move into the road, so don't worry about that either. All right, so we're going to do a little drive around this area, um, negotiating through some of the smaller junctions again when you're ready. All right, now this is going to be tricky. You all right? You ready for this? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you put yourself in this trouble. You, you parked here yourself, so <laughs> have fun. Now, because we're waiting for these cars, we're going to check the right blind spot again, aren't we? started off good and then it could have been better. Yeah. yeah. A bit more finesse. Alright, I want you to turn left just opposite the white pillars. There's a junction. Where that triangle is, just after it, there's a left turn. Don't swing out, don't swing out. Keep on your side of the road. Now look where you're going. Not driving bus. Go on, turn it quicker, quicker. Oh, how's that turn? Too slow. Was the turn slow or was the steering, the steering slow? Oh slow. god, yeah, the steering. Yeah. You just needed to turn your hands quicker. That wasn't even a difficult turn. Yeah. <laughs> were you looking where you were going? I can't remember. Okay. Well, that van's a bit dodgy, isn't he? So that's a hazard. Should we stay away from him? Maybe break next time, okay? Yeah. Look at him, phone in his hand. 
All right, roundabout, turn left. Let's get these left turns tighter again. So you need to look into the road and when the pavement disappears, you're gonna look out this window and turn. So don't turn yet, keep that straight for now. Now look across, but look in, start turning. Looking here, turn some more, that's better. Yes? Keep looking and turning. No, no, we're not turning, we're going straight. <laughs> now we're going to park up in that space right there, just in that space there. It's a signal. Now think about your feet and just use the car in front. We're in a really nice position. Stop that. That's great, thank you. There you go, well done. Good, one more thing. Brilliant. So even if you forget this, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking she'll get to it, she'll get to it. Okay, well that's the end of your lesson today. How are you feeling about today's drive overall? Better. I feel more confident and turning. Your turns were really nice. We had that one random yeah. one. But, you know, we can we can live with that. Overall, you've, a you've actually done really well on the bigger roads because normally you panic a lot more. <laughs> and you're honestly handling it so much better, so well done. What I need to see from you next time is, you know, when a situation is arising or you're not sure of what's going on, brake. You know that you yeah. need to brake clutch and I feel like you, you put the brake on a little bit and then you clutch and then we get there a bit too quickly still because you're not braking enough. So I want you to put a bit more control on that brake, a bit more pressure on that brake. So you're giving yourself more time because ultimately you're going to get there slower, yeah. aren't you? So a bit more pressure on the brake, definitely. Um, Looking into the road more. For your left and right turns. Yeah. But that, yeah, that's all right though. But yeah, everything else is going to come with practice. I think definitely slowing down more is going to give you more time to deal with it and it won't feel so overwhelming because you're not just there. You've given yourself sort of some time to get there. Yeah. And I know it sounds simple, but it's literally just that break. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's the end of today's video. Hopefully that video has been useful. Um, don't forget to like the video, comment down below and subscribe if you've not already. And I forgot to say, this is going to be learning to drive with Erin right from start to finish. So this is episode two, forgot to say that at the beginning. Um, yeah, hopefully it's been useful.